Today, I want to tell you a little bit more about this book. The name of this book is Selective Problems and Theorems in Elementary Mathematics. I have put the title in the description. There are three authors in this book, Shklariski, Shensov, and Yaglov. Maybe my Russian is a bit rusty. Please excuse the pronunciation. This book contains a fascinating collection of mathematical problems. Many of them are taken from mathematical Olympiads, Russian mathematical Olympiads. But there is a large section of problems taken from a mathematics hobby group. Apparently, from 1918 to 1942, in the State University of Moscow, Shklariski ran this mathematics hobby class where students and professors participated and then they discussed these exciting, beautiful problems. Uh, problems that do not require much fancy formula or anything. They require a lot of thinking and meditation in mathematics. That's the best kind, kind that I love. Some of the things that you will find in here include number theory. There are uh, top uh, problems from elementary combinatorics, counting principles. Then there are problems from a bit advanced topics like polynomials or complex numbers. I would say that the number theory or the arithmetic style problems, those can be attempted even by fourth graders, fifth graders, if they're really strong in mathematics, if they like thinking about problems. But then you can go up to high school and even in college if you like solving problems like this. Let me tell you a little bit about the type of problems you will find here. Take problem number 167. It appears to be a very simple type of problem, but well, <laughs> it's really challenging. The problem says that find all numbers x, y, and p, where p is a prime number, x, y are natural numbers, that is positive integers such that 1 over x plus 1 over y is equals to 1 over p. Why don't you try to solve this problem? It's a very nice one. Uh, variants of this have come in several mathematical Olympiads. In fact, in, even in Indian National Math Olympiad and International Math Olympiad, shortlist problems and so on. Then there is this problem number 338, which is related to complex numbers. It says that suppose we have a complex number z such that absolute value of z plus 1 over z is equals to a. a is some positive real number, a non-negative real number, let's say, if possible. You have to find out the maximum and the minimum value of the absolute value of z. Now this uh, z plus 1 by z, this expression, it comes up in variety of problems. It has very deep relation with the geometry of complex numbers. So I would urge you to think about it geometrically, not using algebraic tools. In fact, the relationship between complex number and geometry is very interesting. If you are unaware of it, you can check the link in the description. There are videos on it and in the Chinta YouTube channel. And then let's come to the problem number three as well. It's related to the Ramsey's theorem in combinatorics. Many of these problems are like this. It is an application of a very deep theory that has a lot of branches in mathematics. So it's great if you are able to make that connection. You solve the problem, but you also think about the bigger picture, the deeper theory that is related to it. So what is Ramsey's theory in combinatorics? You can, of course, Google it. It is the case where R33 is tested. So what is R33? You can check out online and give me an answer in the comment. So if you have your own favorite book in mathematics, please let, let me know in the comment. I would be happy to share it with others as well. Thank you for watching and keep on doing great mathematics. I'll see you in the next one.